45 million people are struggling with student debt. 500,000 people tonight are sleeping out on the street, including 30,000 veterans. That is not an economy that's working for the American people. That's an economy working for the 1%. We're going to create an economy for all, not just wealthy campaign Senator, contributors. Senator, I'm Mayor Bloomberg. Senator. <laughs> Mayor Bloomberg, I'll, I'll let you respond to that. Do you think Senator Sanders' economy would be better for America than I, President Trump? I think that uh, Donald Trump thinks it would be better if he's president. I do not think so. Vladimir Putin thinks that Donald Trump is, should be president of the United States. And that's why Russia is helping you get oh, elected, so Mr. you'll Bloomberg. lose to him. I... Let me tell Mr. Putin... Okay, I'm not a good friend of President Xi of China. I think President Xi is an authoritarian leader. And let me tell Mr. Putin, who interfered in the 2016 election, try to bring Americans against Americans. Hey, Mr. Putin, if I'm president of the United States, trust me, you're not going to interfere in any more American elections. You know, Pete mentioned, I, I'm, I'm hearing my name mentioned a little bit tonight. <laughs> I, I wonder why. To. And maybe, you know, Pete mentions what the American people want. I will tell you, Pete, what the American people want and Joe what the American people want. They don't want candidates to be running to billionaires for huge amounts of funding. Right, let's let's Pete, clear this up it? once and for Pete all. Pete has this, gotten uh, funding you, got people from over something 50 that is billionaires. Um, this, this Joe, needs I to think, has gotten up. a little bit more. What the right. American people want, by the way, and a lot of the issues we'll be discussing tonight are issues I raised four years ago, raising the minimum wage to a living wage, 15 bucks an hour, making public colleges and universities tuition free, and finally doing what every other major country on earth does, guaranteeing health care to all people as a human right through a Medicare for all single payer yeah. system. Good. Senator Sanders, Thank the cost you. of your agenda. Yesterday, you released information about how you will pay for your major proposals, but not all of your details are clear. You have proposed more than $50 trillion in new spending. You've said Medicare for all will Over cost $30 period. trillion. Dollars. But you can only explain how you'll pay for just about half of that. Can you do the math for the rest of us? How many hours do you have? Two. The that's answer that's is, the well, problem. No, no, it's not the problem. All right, let's talk about Medicare for all. I'm sure you're familiar with a new study that just came out of Yale University, published in Lancet magazine, one of the prestigious medical journals in the world. You know what it said? Medicare for all will lower health care costs in this country by $450 billion a year and save 68 thousand lives of people who otherwise would have died. What we need to do is to do what every other major country on earth does, guarantee health care to all people, not have thousands of separate insurance plans which are costing us some $500 billion a year to administer. Our plan, we have, we have laid out options all over the place. One of the options is a 7.5% payroll tax on employers, which will save them substantial sums of money. Room, imagine moderate Republicans going over and voting for him, and Absolutely. you have to do that, or you can't 